Okay, I think in the previous demo, I have shown you how you can manually add the routes, add the subnet, create all the uh, Amazon related components, and then configure the CSR, configure the FTD, configure FMC, and then enable the BGP, do all the NAT like manually. So you can say it's a long uh, demo and you have to do a lot of work. And we can, the better thing is that we can automate most of the part. So take a look at the automation we have done is for those eight Amazon components like subnet, route table, or the FTD virtual, FMC virtual instance will be created by a new CloudFormation template. As the CloudFormation temp template has been created, it will also launch a Lambda function that's running in the background to provision the CSR, like the PHP configuration, like the static route. Manual provision are still needed because on the Cisco FTD virtual and FMC virtual, uh, there don't have a correct API to provision the BGP, to provision the uh, static routes, but you can do the uh, IPS and uh, we will support it in the future. So let me show you how we can do the automation. As far as you can see, the, these are the CloudFormation templates I will use in this demo. So it will create the two CSR instances, including FT, FTD virtual, FMC virtual. It will create four subnets, FFTDV inside by the FTD, used by the FTD, and FTDV outside used by the FTD as well. And the two subnet to the CSR, one, C, uh, one for the CSR1 FTD virtual, and the other for the CSR2 FTD virtual. I will also create two route tables and uh, one is the management route table, the other is the FTDV route table that will associate with the correct uh, uh, subnet as well and add the routes. And also the CloudFormation will create the Lambda function so it will have four main functions like you can get the AZ from CSR and then create the subnet based on AZ information. Because as I mentioned, the CSR, the both the two of the CSR, they are in different AZ. So when you create the subnet, you have to make sure the subnet is in the same AZ with that specific CSR. So this function is used to do that. And like store metadata to S3, FTDV, CSR, configurator. Those source code you can always find on the GitHub. I will show you the, the code later. Okay, so Okay, so now let's take a look at what, what we have right now. So switch back to the uh, Amazon console and you can see those three are the spoke AE I created, the transit VPC CSR, they are always there. And those two are already terminated. That's used in our previous demo. And we go to the VPC uh, subnet. You can see there's no FTDV in, FTDV out, CSR1, CSR2 subnet. And if you go to the route table, the route table are also not there. So all the Amazon components are not there. And like the FTDV and FMC virtual is still not there as well. Okay. And if we go to the CSR, let's see the configuration. If you show IPVRF FTD virtual, it's not there. To show run. BGP, you can see this is only the BGP configuration for the spoke, and the other CSR will, will be the same. Show run. Okay, so now we have a clean uh, setup, and uh, we just have a spoke, and in the spoke we have virtual machine. We don't have any anything else right now. So let's go to the, let's launch the cloud formation. Do refresh. Refresh, so let's create another stack. As you can notice here, this is the stack I created by the transit VPC. Create another stack and choose the FTDV template I have. And then next. So let's give it a name, we call it secure DMZ. And we will choose the CSR1 as a CS1 instance as input. So this 5.0 is a CS1 interface that connects to the FTD uh, subnet. 
So as you can see here, it's 5.0 for the CSR1. And let's select CSR2 instance. It's, it's always very convenient for a drop-down list. And the 6.0 CSR2 connect to the FTD, and you can see this is the 6.0. The bucket, let's just give the bucket so it will store all the metadata information created by this extended kind of formation template. The FTD v virtual inside subnet and outside subnet, 4.0 and 7.0. So that's what be aligned with here, 4.0 and 7.0. So I just listed every uh, configuration on the slides into the cloud formation template. And you select the key and you have to select the management route table. This route table is created by the previous transit VPC. So if we go to the route table, you will see a transit VPC route table here. And uh, this ID is 573. So I will put this one here. And now this S3 uh, file is just a file that's to store all the metadata information created by this template. Now pay attention to those two configurations. These are the S3 transit bucket name that is used by the previous stack or the output of previous stack. So if we click transit VPC demo and you will see the bucket here. Let's copy that and put here. And the VPN configuration is the prefix. So the prefix remains the same, so you don't have to change that. And the transit VPC config file that will always be the transit dash vpc dash config.txt. This is the VPN subnet. Sorry, this is the spoke subnet. So this is 20 subnet. Then we choose which transit VPC we want to launch this secure DMZ stuff. So let's click next. Next, select uh, technology and create again. Create. So now this uh, whole solution or the solution I create manually to you will be created automatically, except the provisioning part of the FTD and the FMC. The other part about CSR, the Amazon related components will be created automatically. Okay, so it's creating. And by choosing the this cloud for me template, and you can see the events like it will create IAM role for the Lambda, so it can will have the uh, privilege to access the S3 bucket to do the the right job. And uh, let's refresh, and you can see the subnet has been created. Let's go to the here, and we click subnet. Now you can see multiple subnet has been created. The 4.0 has been created. The 5.0 for the CSR2 has been created. The 6.0, the 7.0, they are also created. You can always name it uh, if you want, but I, I didn't name it on my CloudFormation template. But those uh, subnet are created by the, by the CloudFormation template. And if you go to route table, you will see another route table uh, is created and is associated with the, uh, let me see. Yeah, this is the route table that's already created. And if this is the FTDV route. So if you check here, the FTDV route. This is the FTDV route table. You can see the 20 subnet. Click routes here. It will point into the uh, the, the the CSR one interface, and you will see a different route is also created. Why it says black hole because this instance is not fully uh, up yet. And then if you go to the EC two page and you click the network interface or the instance, let's just do a refresh. Okay, you can see those two are, new instances are created. Uh, one of them is the FTD. So if you click the first one, and you will see the AMI for this one. Okay, so this is the FMC virtual. Okay, 
The second one will be the FTD. Or this is the FTD. And if you click on network interfaces, you can see like the those interfaces also are being created right now. But it's not using the same like a 4.4 or 5.5. Or you can see the 5.133 that's used by the CSR2. So if you, because sometimes the IP address will get conflict, so it will just create the one that can be used. So if you go to click CSR1, you can see it has two interfaces. The second one is the 5.133. The CSR2 will also have another interface, that's the 6.149. And on FTD side, this is FTD, let's just give a name, so better. FTD, let's just call it uh, uh, Lambda. FMCV Lambda. And if you click FTD virtual, you can see there are already four interfaces attached. Second, the third one is the one that's used with inside, so it's 4.40. And last one is the 7.114, that's the outside interface. So now, or if you go back here, go back to our slides, you can see those two interfaces, sorry, those two instances has been created. Those four subnet has been created. The route table has been created. The routes are also being added. So, and also the Lambda will be kicked off and uh, push the configuration to the CSR. So let's go to the CSR to see if those configuration has been uh, provisioned. Okay, so let's do a show IP VRF FTDV. Oops. Uh, I think the name is wrong, so let me do show run. Okay, so actually it's FTDV uh, VRF. Okay, so you can see this VRF has been created, and uh, also you can see the BGP configuration has been pushed. So let's go to the BGP. Uh, if you remember, we didn't enable the BGP for the FTDV VRF, right? So this is the FTDV VRF BGP configuration. And also the Gigabit 2 is under the FTDV VRF, and it has an IP address 5.133. So that's matched to the uh, Amazon Council VMC in the IP. And also there should be a static route. Okay, you can see the static route is added here on the CSR1 as well. So those part are the uh, Lambda has done to pr push the configuration to the CSR. And also on the second CSR, you all observe the same thing. So let's do a show run. Let's see. Okay, so IP VRF FTDV uh, VRF is here. It's pushed, and you can see the BGP configuration has been done. The FTD VRF. Why it's using the 4.40? Because 40 is the IP address used on the FTD side. So if you go to here, and let's see the FTD uh, third interface. That's the one used by the inside. Okay, because it's a four out forty. So this is all used the, the output of the lambda. Sorry, output of the cloud formation, and then use the lambda to push the configuration. And then you will see the static route is also added here, and also the uh, gigabit two interface. Okay, six dot one four nine. So this is for the CSR two. Click CSR two. The second IP. 6.149. So this is all we have done, or what we can automate today to create the Amazon-related components like subnet, like route table, and add the routes, and also the provision, the configuration on the CSR. So let's check last about the, the route table. Okay, so this is the route table we created. Sorry, this one is the route table created. Okay, you can see since the instance is up, so it says all active right now. The only part that's missing from automation or that cannot be done today is the FTD and FMC virtual. Uh, like how do you register the FTDV to the FMC virtual through API and also configure the BGP, configure the static route, enable the net. For those part, uh, there's no 
described the API today, so you can follow my previous demo to finish that part. But for the other automation part, those can be done through the cloud formation template and the Lambda. And all my code can be found out uh, um, here. So I have a GitHub, and if you want to try it out, you can log into the GitHub to, to try it. Thank you for watching.